Hey guys, Taylor Among Us has here, coming on you with an update to the upcoming K9 Force game. So, there have been plenty of improvements over the past three to four days. You can see my first update was from March 17th, and right now it's midnight of March 21st. So, you spawn inside your house, and that's the front door. And again, you still punch doors to open them. We'll go outside later, and here, I built this room right here. And in here there's a just an empty room with the window. And then over here is the kitchen. And then here's the living room. sofa and the TV which you can destroy the TV by either throwing two light punches or one heavy punch yep, and now it stops playing music and doesn't display anything now there's your backyard open these back doors and I've added pine trees yeah the map is still pretty empty though, but yeah, pine trees in the backyard, and I've built the second floor, plus all windows, and again with the windows you can punch them to open them. Now. The second floor is pretty empty though, after you go up these stairs, and this is all there is in the second floor. Just one huge room with windows. Now, I'm definitely gonna add some rooms onto the second floor though, one of them being Ricky's bedroom. Alright, and then here's your front yard. And I've added civilians. There's so now there's two thugs and two civilians. Now the civilians are the ones walking around back and forth, and they turn and then walk the other way. Now, here's a view of the front of the house. The front of the house with pine trees and the fences. So yeah, and now I've changed the range of the thugs, and I've also changed the texture of their hairstyle, as you may have seen before, this skinny guy used to have awkward looking hair that's opaque, but now the hair looks more realistic. Also here's one cool thing to notice about him, now when he gets hit, he gets, you know, bruised, and also yeah, you get the uh, whiplash effect. And also the uh, animation f for blocking. If they happen to block your punches, there's a high block. And as you've seen before, there's only one type of thugs, and it's these skinny guys. Now I've added some larger thugs, like this one over here, which I'm facing towards. He doesn't take any damage from body punches, only from face punches. Oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> and yeah, he makes the uh, TF2 heavy sound effects. Now, one thing to notice about the civilians is that you can attack them and then they'll start fighting you. Same with the fat civilian. And I've added, well I've removed one of the houses since it wasn't even a house, it was just a wooden cube. And now this is the neighbor's house. You can open their windows, but you can't open their front door. So no, you're not going to be breaking into houses in this game. Yeah. Now, I'm also going to show off the animation of the heavier enemies. Okay, so this is his punch animation, and then his low attack is him punching downwards. Yeah, these guys attack faster and do more damage compared to the skinny guys. So yeah, they're quite a bit tougher. They don't run as fast though. Oh, something weird's going on here. I think I've been implanted into the ground. And yeah, I was. So let's move me back up. Hopefully I can prevent this from ever happening again. So let's see, let's get knocked down again. See if we still have... Yeah, cause that weird thing that happened back then is kind of a rarity, but yeah, it does happen every once in a while. Anyways, the most bruises the enemies will have is two face bruises, and then two body bruises. Otherwise, I'd have to make tons and tons of textures, and yeah, just not doing it. Now, there is a glitch that actually happens though. Sometimes he continues the jab animation after he's already been hit, and sometimes it will also happen while he's being knocked down. So you you see him still standing, but he's not doing anything. Well, that didn't happen this time. But yeah. And now let's look at the pine trees. So the, all the pine trees are pretty much one long cylinder with the collision box. Plus a mini cylinder up top. And then it has leaves. Now these leaves are actually as you can see they're two-dimensional shaped and there's multiple two-dimension pictures just flipped into different rotations. So now you get this. S still though it looks pretty good for pine trees. <laughs> looks odd real realistic in fact probably look even better if I added even more uh, sprites to it for the leaves but yeah this is about all I have to show now additionally I actually did also make the map a little bigger 
and I might continue to do so in the future. But still, I'm not going to make the map too huge. Otherwise, it's going to take way too long to navigate around. Kind of like in GTA, where you'll waste about maybe 10 to 20 minutes uh, driving from one side of the city to the other side. So yeah, I'm, I'm just going to keep this map fairly small. And I'm definitely going to make some improvements to the house as well. I'm going to be adding some rooms on the second floor and then putting more detail in the kitchen such as adding a stove, microwave and drawers and a sink as well as building more rooms because this room right here is supposed to be a pantry so yeah I'll most likely add some stuff here as well and yeah there's the backyard shed that has a carpet floor and I'm definitely also gonna have to add more enemy types way more enemy types and that's, that's gonna require a lot more human models because at the moment there's only two there's one for these guys and one for these guys so yeah until next update see ya